about two million acres is irrigated. Uh, in uh, 1991, uh, that area, the upper 26 counties, uh, had a production of wheat uh, greater than two million acres, uh, more than 600,000 acres of corn, sorghum, and cotton. The same area also produced about four million head of fed beef cattle and about 25 commercial crops are grown in this particular area, including vegetables and, and other things that we haven't mentioned. The, this area has a uh, cash receipts in terms of just agricultural products in excess of $5.2 billion in 1991. Uh, those are the latest figures I have. Uh, of that, about 80% of that uh, cash receipts comes from the fed beef industry, and uh, if you're not native to this area, just kind of drive between here and Hereford or someplace like that, and uh, you'll smell the money as you go along the way, okay? Uh, that will be no problem. And I guess uh, in terms of uh, the crops, there's four major crops that make up that, that major amount of cash receipts on the crop side. Those are wheat, sorghum, corn, and cotton. And depending upon the environmental conditions for any particular year, those kind of flip-flop and turn around and et cetera. If we have a bad hailstorm uh, during wheat season, uh, we don't have as much wheat production as we do in other years and, and that type of thing. And I think the, if the one point that I could drive home that would be the best one would be that these upper 26 counties of the state of Texas occupy about 10% of the land area of Texas, but they produce 42% of the agricultural resource, re, uh, receipts for the state of Texas. So 10% of the area produces almost half of the agricultural research, uh, receipts for this area. And that's a point we'd like to drive home down state uh, to the legislative people. Uh, when uh, they think about West Texas, they basically think that we're out here in this hot, dry, windy area, uh, 75 miles between everything, uh, that type of thing. And so I think we need to really uh, drive that point home to them. Uh, so I'll conclude my little part and we'll go on with the rest of the program. Uh, our first uh, speaker on the, on the panel today is Mr. Rodney Mosier. He's a graduate of uh, West Texas A&M University, majoring in ag business and economics. For the past 10 years, he's been the executive uh, assistant for the Texas Wheat Producers Association, which is located here uh, in Amarillo. And uh, they are the market development, research, and education organization for the commodity wheat in the state of Texas. Uh, he serves a uh, host of many international, technical, and government foreign trade teams and develops schedules to satisfy their interest in international wheat marketing. Uh, he's recently participated in an international wheat marketing and projection study tour for Europe, the Middle East, which and the Middle East, which took him to Russia, Latvia, Estonia, Jordan, Egypt, and London. So without any further ado, Rodney. 